I hope I was able to clear up exactly what happened with the Super Bowl commentary in my last video. Now, as for the individuals who happen to be commenting, saying, why don't you just re-upload it? It can pop up the next time. It's not like they're gonna block it again. Well, I actually did try to do that. Those who've been following me for a very long time, you know I've had my issues with social media, with Facebook, now with YouTube. I'm yet to really have a big problem with Instagram, but I've been having videos removed for a very long time on fictitious claims. I feel as if I'm trapped in purgatory. And so I'm in some sort of conundrum going on right now with what's going on on YouTube. But I did try to re-upload the video three different times and this is what happened. No, no, I, there it is. Got it right there. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Just popped up right there. Darn it. It got to 100%. It was processing. Bam. Resort. Just like that. I was putting the tags on the son of Just like that. Gone, son. Can't even re upload. Watch. I'm going to try to re upload it over here. Gone. Just like that. You try to put it in there to go update it and, 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 and you know upload it. Gone. It's wild, huh? I really had this joint recorded for like 15 minutes. I'm like, oh, there it is, right there. With the quickness. Like that. Gone. It's wild, son. Three different times. Three different times. This shit's ridiculous, bro. Behind the scenes, this is what it looks like. For those who can't really follow along, this is exactly what happened. I can't re-upload the video every single time that I attempt to put the video back up. It gets absolutely deleted. Actually, the last three times that I tried to upload it, I actually tweaked the video three different times. The first time I put up the regular one, that got deleted within seconds. The second time I took out the 10 to 11 second bracket that Nancy decided to say that was copyright. What happened? It loaded all the way up until 95% like you saw in the first opening clip. And what happened? got deleted, written down in the death note. The third time, I actually changed up the ending of the video. I added more to the video. It was just to see if it would get to the processing to where I can post it. And ultimately, that got written down in the death note too. So I can't re-upload the video at all. So if you wanna watch the video for the final Super Bowl commentary, I implore you go to my Facebook page, go to my Instagram page. I'll put both those links in the description and I'll also put it at the end of the video right after I finish speaking so you guys can go watch it there. As for trying to, you know, get stuff done, on YouTube, I don't know what I'm going to be do, doing moving forward because this is really frustrating um, dealing with social media because I've been trapped in this purgatory like I said earlier. I can't win on Facebook. I can't win on YouTube now. On Instagram, it's taking a long time to build. I have no issue with, you know, the uphill climb uh, and all that other stuff, but it just feels as if there's some sort of entity that does not want to see me win and I understand trial and tribulation but when it's like set individuals and they can shut down your whole thing it's really frustrating moving forward so I'm trying to see if I can get a website going I tried twice before both times failed miserably because the um the website couldn't hold all of the videos that I was putting out because I post so frequently so I guess I gotta just put more funding behind it to get a better website to where I can just post everything there so for next year if I'm plan on doing the commentary next year hopefully if everything um if if the stars align i can get everything done so i can put everything on the website so you guys can watch it from there as for um you know moving forward i'm just gonna try to fight this get the strike off of my page and um hopefully i can continue to post from there but i am really drained with what has been going on on social media i just can't i can't deal with it i've told people several times before had i not been a comedian i probably would not be on social media at all honestly i do not like it like a lot of people who are on the social media, you can see the numbers are steadily climbing for them. They face no opposition because they're not real, you know? They're funny because they're comedians. I'm a comedian because I'm funny. If you understand the analogy, you understand the analogy. I don't put on an act. I'm 100% me. You can't write the jokes that I make. Honestly, look how creative they are. They come off the cuff. More importantly, when I speak in my regular videos, it's no different than it is from the commentary. I'm 100% across the board. People try to be, it's almost like Seth MacFarlane with Family Guy. You can see with Family Guy, he's absolutely hilarious, but everything else he does, he doesn't even come close. So he's trying to make you guys see that, oh, Seth MacFarlane is 
as actually, I'm as funny as my creation. When he's not, I never want to be one of those guys. So I don't want to be the guy who's walking down the street. You talking about, hey man, do that commentary thing. But I'm as funny as I am of the commentary as I'm not in, in the regular. Where am I going with this, man? I, you know what? I, I'm not going to get into no goddamn give a whole long out, dragged out soliloquy. I'm going to sleep, man. So if you want to watch the, um, the uh, commentary video, go to my Facebook, go to my Instagram. Uh, they're there. I'll put the links um, at the end of the video and in the description. Now, um, here's James Harrison. What's wrong with him? 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 What's wr